Hey there, um, it's right around 9.30 p.m. on Sunday, January 21st. I'm sitting here in one of my <clears throat> favorite spots, having a croissant and a carbonated water. And I'm actually considering responding to the many, many comments that have recently been made on a video that I posted on my personal YouTube channel. For some reason, people don't understand why I post these videos and they troll them. First of all, anyone who goes onto a YouTube channel that has someone's personal name on it and no subject matter should not make any judgments because they don't know anything about that person. My YouTube channel is my name. There's no other claim to anything else on that YouTube channel aside from the fact that I just post videos about what I observe and experience when I'm out and about living my life. And these pathetic, moronic idiots who comment on my videos without knowing a thing about me, what I do, my career, my education, what I specialize in, are simply letting their stupid show. And they seem to respond to things that they don't understand or the concept being a bit too advanced for them to grasp. So they resort to calling me crazy and stupid, but they, in fact, are the ones who are crazy and stupid because they're incapable of understanding anything that is outside of the realm of what they know. That's how you know you're dealing with someone who is stupid, when they cannot possibly grasp anything that exists outside of their tiny little box in which they live their life. I am a career research scientist with two master's degrees and 18 years of career research experience at the master's level, working at Harvard Medical School and then at multiple biotech companies, performing full-time scientific research, all of which has been published, selected for publication, and co-authored in some of the highest end scientific journals on the planet. So I'm going to pull rank here and I'm going to say, unless you have a greater degree of education, scientific and research experience, and career know-how than I do, shut the fuck up and take your stupid mind off of my channel, you pathetic, useless idiots. I have 18 years of full-time, continuous, scientific career experience, and you probably don't. I'm willing to bet you don't, because if you did, you wouldn't be spending all of your time trolling other people's YouTube channels that only have their name on them. So my channel isn't, you know, how to build underwater uh, submarines or something. And then people who have knowledge of that start having an issue with what I'm saying. My channel is simply my name. I don't make any claims on that channel. So these idiotic morons who don't understand why I'm posting these videos or what the contents are about, who actually take it upon themselves to complain about what I am posting, are the Karens. They are the crazies. They are the haters. They are the idiots. And they do not understand what I'm trying to say. I am a master's level research scientist with a PhD level education. My PhD is in clinical developmental psychology and my career up until the time I went into my PhD was scientific research, specializing in tumor biology and angiogenesis. I actually started in the lab of Harold Dvorak at Harvard Medical School in 1995, just after getting my Bachelor of Science degree in biomedical sciences, pre-med concentration here at one of the universities in the Massachusetts uh, public university system. So unless you can match that and outperform that, then shut up and get the hell off of my channel. So I, uh, but you know, I don't want to be like completely dismissive of people who try to comment in good faith on my videos. I just Googled remote control stun gun. So this is what came up. They do exist. Here's one of them right here. Safety remote electric shock stun gun. Okay, so let's see what the stun gun does. It's on Amazon.com. <laughs> There's a number of trolls that commented on a video where I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I have a neighbor who is criminally insane, but seems to be quite specialized in certain types of technology. Uh, and a number of these, uh, let's call them trolls, said, I Googled remote control stun gun. I can't find anything like that, really. Well, here it is right here. It's on sale for 33% off. 
and you can get it Tuesday, January 23rd. Wow. So let's see, what is this device called and what does it do? Hold on a second here. I mean, I'm legally blind, so I have to sort of expand out the text. I can't really see what it says. Okay, here we go. DEPM Safety Remote Electric Shock Stun Gun Self-Defense Tools Remote Distance Electric Shock uh, Self-Defense Outdoor Rechargeable. Okay, so this is to the troll that said, oh, these things don't exist. I googled remote controlled stun gun and didn't find anything really well the, here's one that's available on amazon see amazon they're actually having a sale on it so that's just an example of the remote controlled stun gun thing what when i say remote controlled stun gun i have no way of knowing if that's actually what is being used i am using the term remote controlled stun gun to include similar types of devices maybe not something exactly like that but similar types of devices Maybe there are similar types of devices that are remote capacity that emit different types of output. Maybe there are devices like a remote controlled stun gun that can have the same effect, effect on someone, but that emit, for instance, radio frequency radiation or electromagnetic frequency radiation, all of which go through walls and all of which are emitted by common household devices such as baby monitors and Wi-Fi routers and your own cell phone, right? So as a career research scientist, I am extremely capable of thinking outside the box and of looking into alternative technologies that maybe I don't know about. There's a whole ton of scientific research being conducted all over the world all at once that is secret. Nobody wants to know that, you know, they're working on certain things because otherwise technology gets stolen and then somebody else is running off with your idea and getting a patent on it and then, you know, you're out in left field. So scientific research is often done secretly because you don't want somebody to steal your great scientific idea and then capitalize on it for themselves, steal the credit, publish a, pub, a paper, you know, with your idea, that kind of thing. So there's a ton of technology out there that is not being publicized because people don't want you to know that it exists because maybe it's still being developed or maybe it hasn't been marketed yet. They're waiting for the right moment to release it. Most people don't know that cell phones were developed um, prior to World War II and that cell phones were being used in World War II, but the public... <laughs> didn't start hearing about cell phones or car phones, as they called them back then, until the 1960s. And then in the 1970s, you saw Charlie's Angels using car phones in their cars. And then people started saying, hey, look, there's a car and it has a phone in it. Wow. But that technology had been around for 40 years at that point, since the 1930s, right? So that's the same thing with these types of devices. They're probably not widely publicized, because they're being used by law enforcement or maybe by the military and maybe they're available on certain websites but not others so just because you haven't heard of something doesn't mean it doesn't exist and a simple device like a remote controlled stun gun certainly exists if we can have a million dollar billion dollar rover on mars that is remote controlled from earth if we can put a billion dollar piece of technology on mars and we can remote control it from Earth, you can certainly bet your ass that remote controlled stun gun devices exist or similar types of devices, okay? So I'm not saying it's exactly a remote controlled stun gun because again, I have no way of knowing that for sure. All I know is what I experience. It's extremely painful and it is certainly not something that is coming from my imagination. I have been working continuously in a full-time capacity for what, 25 years now, aside from a few years during the pandemic. So I stopped working during the pandemic in, uh, let's see, I lost my job as a market research consultant in October of 2020. And I, my next uh, work assignment was in February of 2023. 
So yeah, a couple of years. I stopped working during that pandemic for a couple of years, as many people did. I was on unemployment for a while because I did work full time. I did not collect anything past the normal unemployment period. So I'm not on some type of welfare. Um, I'm working now. My most recent position uh, is a full-time um, full associate position. So I'm working. And people who think that I am a crazy uh, meth addict no, I lost my voice about a week and a half ago because there's no heat in my apartment and I wake up and I'm frozen and my throat hurts and uh, there's a lot of smoke and fumes coming from the bathroom of the vacant unit next to mine that is affecting my voice. I am a non-smoker, always have been. I don't drink. I never, ever have done drugs. I've always actually been a lifelong athlete and a bit of a health nut who worked out up until about a year and a half ago. Um, I was always physically active. So no, I'm not a meth addict, you pathetic moron, but you are showing where your mind is at. So when you think that people are meth addicts because they're saying stuff that you don't understand, uh, that you're incapable of grasping, or maybe you, their voice is raspy because, you know, it's the middle of January and it's 15 degrees outside right now. And some people have colds or you lose your voice or, you know, you have like a, a phlegmy situation in your throat, it doesn't mean that you're a meth addict. So the people who keep trolling my videos and making all kinds of crazy comments are simply letting their own stupid show. And by trolling a YouTube channel that is simply my name, again, I'm not making any claims on this channel about providing some type of information or service. It's simply what I ex observe and experience on a daily basis. Uh, being someone who has always been verifiably completely mentally sound and intellectually sound and professionally active. As I just said, I worked for 18 of the last 25 years as a master's level career research scientist, was employed at companies like Biogen, IDEC, Merrimack Pharmaceuticals, and Harvard Medical School for continuously for 18 years then, you know, I'm not a meth addict and I do not have mental health issues. In fact, I encourage people to sub 